Hello, my name is Professor Dr. Devaruti Haldar, and in this video session, I am going to discuss about the concept of website from legal perspectives. During the pandemic era, that means during past two years, we are getting to see that we are all homebound and we are very much dependent on information and communication technology. We are accessing different websites. We are working through different websites. We are buying things. We are buying stuffs. We are buying grocery, etc., from uh, different e-commerce platforms. And all these things are connected with some websites. But did you know that either in the Indian information technology law or in many other uh, uh, legal uh, documents, etc., the concept of website or the term website is not at all uniformly as well as explicitly defined. However, when we see from the cybercrime aspects or when we see from some kinds of liability from the perspectives of the website liability aspect, we cannot but need to understand what is the meaning of website and what way they are also liable for different reasons. So the concept or the term website is connected with the concept of World Wide Web, which was invented by a British scientist, Tim Berners-Lee, in 1989. The major reason behind creating the web was to facilitate the demands of information sharing between the government stakeholders, including the military scientists in the universities and those stakeholders which are situated in other institutes or other companies, corporate sectors, or even, for example, those people who are generating several kinds of data. Even though the term website does not find its legal definition, it has however been very popularly explained in different ways. But here we are going to take out certain very popular definitions like what you find on Wikipedia. What these kinds of definitions actually explain about the website? Website is a collection of hyperlinked pages on the websites or rather on the World Wide Web and it also carries different related contents. It can be identified by different domain names and it is published by some web servers. As I mentioned that we are dependent completely on different kinds of websites and we manage our homes, our offices, etc. through these websites. That means, say for example, we are using some apps. We are getting to see the applications on different websites. We are getting connected with certain kinds of companies, etc. which are delivering some kinds of services, etc. And these are also connected with some websites. So presently, we get to see many legal persons, that is the companies, which may create their own websites, which may be used mainly for information sharing or, for example, for e-commerce purposes and also for interacting with people. We may also see technology companies or tech companies specifically created for sponsoring, creating, maintaining websites and web pages who also collect data of the users and subscribers and therefore we do also get to see that there is lots of concerns that is now coming up related to the data processing data privacy etc of the individuals and also of the subscribers users etc of different services that may be availed through different web companies who may be having different websites. Now, when, I, when we need to talk about liability of the websites, we have heard a lot about these kinds of liabilities. But websites in general are basically inanimate. That means 
websites may not be having any sort of liability minus the human brain behind these websites which are operating these websites. They become legal persons only when they are operated by people who may create websites, who connect to web pages, get a domain name for the websites, publish the contents and facilitate peer-to-peer -peer networking and also share information as a passive website or also may work as a hybrid website. Liability of the websites therefore depend on their activities that are decided by their creators, administrators, distributors or the users of the websites and also by the policies etc that have been developed by the website companies. Say for example, we do get to see Facebook, we do get to see Facebook obviously now it is known as Meta or for example Amazon or for example many other uh, like you know st uh, stakeholders who are having proper websites who are also known as web companies like Google etc. We get to see different kinds of issues coming up with different kinds of websites. Now what are these issues for example? A person has opened a profile in a website and after that the person is getting to see that his profile has been hacked, his profile has been attacked or for example from that website some kind of malicious link etc has been shared. So even though what we understand about the website is that it is uh, like you know a conglomeration of the web pages, hyperlinked text, texts, contents etc. So with this understanding, can we really say that websites have got some legal liability? The answer is sometimes yes. Why? Because as uh, we understand that the creators, the hosts or for example, those persons who are maintaining that website, they need to see that the data that has been gathered on the web platform and the data that has been disseminated or the data that has been published about that particular profile holder or the data that has been published about any information that the website uh, creators, the website owners, etc. have intentionally and consensually have shared whether that data is secured enough or not. That means the infrastructure of that website, the web server, etc. is secured enough or not. The concept of website therefore needs to be understood from a holistic perspective. That means what is the definition of website, what works websites actually do, what are the purposes of that particular website, whether that website is created, maintained or hosted by any company or any government uh, stakeholder or any individual for a specific purpose etc. So I hope that you liked the video. Uh, in the next video session, we will be discussing more about websites, liabilities of the websites, etc. Thank you.